Lined with Britannia bourbon on the outside and rich with mascarpone and chocolate filling on the inside is this delicious berry charlotte. Hi and welcome to Britannia Dessert Carnival. I'm Chef Amita Raichan and today I'm going to show you how to make amazing berry charlotte with the help of everyone's favorite Britannia bourbon biscuits. So let's begin. So what is a charlotte? A charlotte is basically a pudding which is made with fresh fruits, cream and some sponge cake or biscuits. And here, like I've told you, we are using biscuits and the creaminess in these bourbon biscuits is going to enrich the flavour and the taste of this charlotte. And now I'm adding some butter to it. Make the base of this tin with my bourbon biscuit mixture. Okay, this mixture is done and since I've used the entire biscuit along with its cream, the cream is going to enrich further the taste and the flavour and the texture of this berry charlotte that we are making. And I'm going to flatten it out. This has become nice and smooth. And now I've got some more bourbon biscuits which I'm going to gently place on the side. I'm going to fix this properly and then this is going to go into the fridge to get set. Alright, so now I'm going to put it in the fridge. Alright, so now let's start making the rest of the pudding and some milk chocolate which is melted. I'm going to pour that and then I'm going to add some whipped cream to it. And I'm going to nicely mix it trying to keep as much of the airiness as I can although we are not really following the principle of keeping the airiness but this pudding is not about the airiness it's about the creamy yummy rich flavor but since I'm using whipped cream I will try to do what I set out to so this chocolate and whipped cream is nicely mixed okay now I'm going to add the bloom gelatin to it so that this sets beautifully. Okay, so this mixture is ready and I'm gonna place this on the side and bring from the fridge my mold. So now I'm gonna add this first layer into my base of bourbon biscuit and butter. Nice chocolatey base, superb. And back in the fridge. Okay, now in another bowl, add some more whipped cream with the help of a spatula. Some mascarpone cheese. Some powdered sugar. And last but not the least, actually there is another ingredient that's going to go after this. Some berry puree. I'm going to mix this well all right so we'll mix it well and although i'm using two layers of uh, chocolate and a berry cream you can use a regular fruit custard when you make them at home and create this recipe out of it and that's the chunky tip of the day and then finally add some more gelatin to this mixture as well blend this entire mixture carefully keeping a bit of the airiness and yet blending all the ingredients well together Okay, now I'm going to add the bloom gelatin to it so that this sets beautifully. Okay, so this mixture is ready and I'm going to place this on the side and bring from the fridge my mold. Okay. Now on top of the chocolate layer that we had created earlier, we'll go this layer of berry and cheese and cream and yummy. Just look at this beauty. Alright, now back in the fridge till it's set beautifully. 
This is beautifully set, as you can see, nice and cold. I'm going to demold it first with the help of a glass, gently. These spring molds are easily to come off. Some berries on top, got some raspberries and some blueberries and for the added dose of health and a nice sprig of mint. And if you do like these recipes, don't forget to share it with all your friends and spread the Britannia Dessert Carnival joy amongst everyone. Also, do subscribe to see more such exciting, yummy, delectable recipes.